Hi, this is Nams from Nams's Hot Wheels and stuff, and I am going to be reading to you one of my all-time favorite childhood books, um, children's books from my childhood, The 14 Bears, Summer and Winter. I couldn't get enough of this when I was up till I think age 10. And my daughter uh, got it for me for my birthday, I think last year. So, uh, cause it's a hard to find book. So I'm gonna read it to you, okay? Here we go. This is The 14 Bears, Summer and Winter by Evelyn Scott, illustrated by Virginia Parsons. <clears throat> 14 Bears. Love this book. Okay. For Ursula, a real bear. How cute, I wonder who that is. And there they all are, all the bears. There's Daddy Bear, Mama Bear, Little Theodore, uh, Veronica, Virginia, Johanna, Ramona, Hannah, Anna, Gloria, Emma, Henrietta, Flora, and Dora. Only one boy, which is Baby Theodore. Once upon a time in a summer forest, there were 14 bears. There were the Daddy Bear and Little Theodore and Victoria, that was the Mother Bear. And, here we go again, Virginia, Veronica, Ramona, Henrietta, Flora and Dora, Gloria, Emma, Anna, Johanna and Hannah, they all lived in hollow trees. All the trees looked different inside. One had plump chairs. That's one of my favorites, the Victorian looking one. Um, one had plump chairs with fringe. Ooh. One had furniture with painted flowers. I love that one too. Oh, this one had a modern touch, very groovy. This one had a braided rug, and this one had a Chinese screen. Love those. <clears throat> this bear's house had a kitchen fireplace. This bear's house had a marble mantle. How do you get it in there? And this bear's house had a red floor. This bear's house was like a castle. And this one was small and cozy. Love that one too. Each bear had a separate tree house, except little Theodore, because he was so little, he stayed with his mommy and daddy. Yeah, because he's just a little surf. Every day, the 14 bears walked paw and paw through the forest, and the birds sang, and the breeze blew, and the sun beat on their ears. That look fun. Oh, my favorite. When they got hot, they went swimming in a big, deep, clear pool. There were lots of fish in the pool, but the bears never tried to eat them. So they were all good friends and played together. Love that. How fun to go down the waterfall. Swimming swimming and floating and there's a little fish just hanging out oh, about to dive in it's so fun just relaxing in the sun then the bears lay down on the warm sand until their fur was dry and glistening ah oh, that looks so inviting doesn't it you just want to go <clears throat> when the bears were hungry, there was always lots of honey. Flora had a honey farm with very special bees. They made different flavors of honey, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, maple, and sometimes coconut. So see, all up here are the beehives. There's the coconut, maple, Strawberry, chocolate, 
and vanilla. Mmm, what a wonderful treat. Then the 14 bears walked home, paw in paw, through the forest. And the birds sang, and the breeze blew, and the sun beat down on their ears. There they go. Home together. They climbed the, the, <clears throat> they climbed the branch steps and closed the bark doors. So there goes everybody into their homes. Let's see, I like that one. The split door, right? There's Papa and Mama's with baby Theodore. Let's see. Oh, look at those tall steps. That's pretty high, huh? And these ones, they're just a few steps on that one, huh? I like the color of that door. It's so pretty, very bright. Let's see. Yep. She doesn't have any steps to go through, huh? Sorry. No steps, just straight in, but everybody else seems to have steps, don't they? Sure do. <clears throat> when night came, they went to bed. Everybody's all snuggled up. And they slept and slept and slept and slept. What's your favorite bed? Hmm? Let's see. Right now, I think this one looks the coziest to me. I like it. All the bears, from Anna to Gloria, had pleasant dreams all the summer night long. And that's the first story of the 14 bears. Let's see, on this page, ooh, I love this colorful bed. That looks cozy and comfortable. And there's Mama, Papa, and Baby Theodore. Okay, now on to the next part. Oh, the 14 bears in winter. There they all are. Ooh. One day, Mother Bear looked out from her hollow tree in the forest, clearing to see what her children, Anna, Dora, Emma, Flora, Gloria, Hannah, Henrietta, Johanna, Ramona, Veronica, Virginia, and Leah, little Theodore were doing. Snow fell on her nose. It was winter. Father Bear hurried his family to bed in their hollow trees. Come on, everybody. It's time to hibernate, isn't it? After a fine two-month-long nap, little Theodore began wiggling in the bed next to his parents in the biggest hollow tree. Mother Bear told him to go back to sleep. They were hibernating. Little Theodore didn't know what hibernating meant. He didn't really know what winter meant. Oh, so he's waking everybody up, isn't he? So Father Bear said they could all put on warm clothes and go outside to find out. Oh boy. That is a lot of work getting, getting 14 little bears dressed, huh? Or 12 bears dressed, right? Well, plus mom and papa. Ooh, outside everything was very white and bright and cold. Ooh. They all ran to their pond. It was frozen hard. The friendly fish were fast asleep down deep down in the mud. Yep, so all the fish are in the water still, but they're deep down in the mud and they're sleeping too. But how fun, look at, they get to ice skate, but they don't even need ice skates. They just use their feet and they're sliding down the frozen waterfall because now it's ice more and it's a slide. Yeah, and they get to slip around and have fun on their little ice pond. Flora ran to her honey farm. The friendly bees were snugly dreaming in their hives. 
They're asleep too. The 14 bears began to walk paw and paw through the forest. The winter sun beat on their ears. Snow squeaked beneath their feet. There they go. All at once, the forest stopped. The bear stood staring at a farmyard and a big house. Right in front, there was a snowman wearing a large sign. Henrietta, who had on her glasses, read the sign aloud. Welcome neighbors, gone to grandma's, make yourselves at home. Oh, how friendly. I don't believe that means us, said mother bear. Well, we're neighbors, cried little Theodore. All the bear children were excited. There were such fine playthings in the yard. We won't do any harm, said, oh, we won't do any harm, said Father Bear. Boy, what a treat, huh? Would you take advantage of that? I would, yes, and just be very respectful. Wow, let's go find out. So Flora pushed Dora in the swing. Johanna, who loved to dance, put on skates and skimmed across some ice. Close. Ramona found some bright red winter berries. Ooh. And Father Bear and little Theodore went skiing. There they go. Mother Bear tried snowshoeing. Because it's hard to walk in the snow. Wow, that looks so fun. I think I would do the swinging and the ice skating. Emma, Hannah, and Veronica rode a sled down a hill and knocked the snowman flat. Oh no, there they went. They must have been going at a pretty good speed. The snowman doesn't even seem bothered. Father Bear said the time had come to leave. They put all the playthings away. Then they built a bigger snowman. He looked just like Father Bear. Last of all, they peeped into the house. Inside, they saw a tree. It was hung with sparkling balls, golden stars, and silver rope. Because why? We know why, right? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's because it's Christmas time. Paw and paw, the 14 bears walked back through the forest. Snow shook down on their ears. Sunset shimmered on their fur. In their clearing, they had just enough time before dark to hang ornaments on their trees. There they go. Anna used the ruffle of a petticoat. Virginia painted silver twigs as far as she could reach, or as high, right? Veronica tied hair bows to hers. Aw. Johanna made some snowballs. So did Father Bear. Ramona set her holly on a branch. Emma and Gloria hung out knitting wool. That's a smart idea. Little Theodore gathered pine cones for Hannah while she played her guitar. Aw. Mother Bear scattered nuts and berries out for Flora and Dora because they were half asleep. Henrietta wrote down their adventures. When it was quite dark, the bears climbed their branch steps and opened their bark doors and went back to bed. All their trees had been trimmed, except the biggest one. In the morning, it was the most beautiful of all, hung with icicles. Birds had eaten the nuts and berries from the snowy ground and had hopped out a message. Sleep tight, good neighbors. See you in the spring. And that's the second story of the 14 bears. The end. And there they are holding hands. Summer and winter. Just like the front. Summer and winter.
chapter. I hope you enjoyed it. I did very much. And if you like this, please go ahead and like it. And if you think there's someone that will enjoy it, please share it. Thank you and have a wonderful evening.